Today's the feast day of a martyr of the early church, St. Agnes, who was only about 14 years old when she died for the faith. Her name comes from Greek and Latin words for lamb, and she, like the one for whom she gave her life, was truly a lamb of God. She offered her life as a sacrifice rather than save her life for a lie. Hello, this is Father James Kabicki of the Apostleship of Prayer, and one of the things that we try to help people understand is that everyone is called to be a lamb of God. That doesn't mean you have to be a martyr, but it does mean that you are, in the words of St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 1, to be a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. One way you can do that is by making a daily offering of your life, the minutes of your day, your every prayer, work, joy, and suffering. That's what the daily or morning offering prayer helps you to do. And in the traditional version of it, we declare that we offer ourselves and our day for the reunion of all Christians. This is an intention we are praying for in a special way all this week, but it's one that the morning offering invites us to pray for every day. This is what it means to be a lamb of God. At Mass, right before communion, the priest says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Blessed indeed. For the Lamb of God, Jesus, unites himself to us in Holy Communion, and he makes you a Lamb as well. United to the Lamb of God, you are now able to offer yourself as a living sacrifice to God. That's the meaning of the morning offering.